Hey, welcome to Elvis Music. This is Seth down here at Seth's Tone Zone. And today I have a comparison video of sorts. Um, exotic BB preamp. Well, there's two of them now. Uh, the BB preamp, which is this orange one over here. And the new BB preamp AT, meaning Andy Timmons. And I decided I want to hear the differences between these two pedals, what makes them different. And I will explain what makes them different as well as we will be able to hear them. And I thought I'd throw in the Mythos pedals uh, Daedalus as well. I think I said that right. Daedalus. Um, these are all based on the Bluesbreaker, uh, the old Marshall Bluesbreaker pedals. So a lot of people on the internet, there's a lot of speculation, so I actually had to clear it up with Exotic. They say, uh, on the internet, they're saying that these are basically Tube Screamers circuits. I'm not saying it's still not, but Exotic tells me they were going for a Marshall Blues Breaker kind of tone. So, I know the Daedalus is based on the original circuit, so I thought I should throw them all together and make a little video. Uh, before I get started here, the C. I am playing a beautiful Nash. Always, I'm always playing Nashes. I love these guitars. Um, this is a based on a 57 Tele, but instead of an Ash body, it's an Alder body, so that's a cool upgrade. All these guitars are very upgradable. You can do whatever you want to them. Beautiful maple neck. Um, yeah. And I thought I'd try to match the strap as close as I can to this. Uh, anyway, always going, to, as always, going through the uh, Victory V40, uh, the Duchess. 212 cab, Celestian Creambacks, SM57 Sure microphone, mic and us. Oh, uh, oh yeah, um, of course, behind the camera today, he's always behind the camera. Uh, we have Zach, the hideous Zach that can't get in front of the camera. Um, why, what is hey, this? What, <laughs> what was that? Uh, hey, what up? Okay, so the difference between these two BB preamps is... The actual new, this is a new pedal, the BB preamp Andy Timmons is actually based on Exotic's original attempt of uh, a Bluesbreaker pedal. So, and he really liked that one. He had one of the original ones. And they, had, Exotic, I don't know how many years ago, probably four or five years ago, maybe more, decided to kind of redo it and add a couple things and just change the sound a little bit. But Andy, you know, Andy Timmons, great guitar player. He uh, he really, really liked the first circuit. So they have now made a little cool, I think it's a limited run, uh, BB preamp original. And I want to hear the differences between those two. And then, like I said, I'm throwing in the Mythos because it's that type of pedal. And it's the Blues Breaker type pedals that we have in the store. So let's get to it. Here is my clean tone. Pick up middle. I think I'm gonna kind of stay on the bridge on this video. So let's hear the newer version of the BB preamp first. Okay, same settings, this here, the original now. Hmm, they sound... That was really similar. Super similar. I wonder what the differences are. Maybe if I move around some EQ, it'll change it up. This has a treble. Both these BB preamps have treble and bass controls with the gain and the volume. I'm going to give it a little bit more gain on these. And sorry, we get a little bit of interference noise, but we're kind of dealing with it. It's kind of the best we can do today.
you think? What do you think, Zach? They sounded different, but I can't put my finger on what the difference is. <laughs> what I was hearing is, I, I think there's a little bit more treble in the, uh, like, I got it pretty similar settings yeah. here. Um, um, a little bit more brightness. I feel like they kind of yeah. maybe didn't scoop the sound on this other one, but they just went for something different, I guess, you know? It yeah. could be like the most minor of tweaks. It's really, it does sound really subtle, but I, yeah, I don't know. Try, try one more time. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing more mids coming yeah. out of the AT yep. original. Yep. Yeah. More <laughs> mids and more highs almost. Yeah, like, presence. It's, I mean, I've been. It sounds like more of everything almost. Kind of does. Uh, let's see. I'm going to really back the gains down. Maybe we can hear a little even more. Here, like neck, let's hear a little neck. Is there more gain on the AT? Uh, I don't know. I got them pretty much exactly. Huh. Yeah. So maybe there, there's just more gain on that pedal. On the I think. I just think it, it comes out more. That's yeah. one of the things I'm hearing. Uh, well, let's hear the, before I come back to that, let's hear the data list really quick. Let's hear how similar it is. <laughs> A gazillion mounts of treble has, well, I do have the bass up. It has an interactive bass control. This only has one tone control. Versus the treble and bass. This seems more mellow. Yeah. A absolutely. lot more mellow. And I mean, I have the gain like halfway already on this one, maybe a little more. It's, it's got a lot of presence. It's, There's something about this, this company. Mellow, yeah. <laughs> it's more mellow. It's more classic. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost a lot like those JTM 45 pedals were, you know, but mm -hmm. just different. I, I really like this. And what the one of the cool things I've heard, and I'll, and I'll show you, is when you turn the gain all the way up on the data list, I saw it in another video, um, it, it kind of gives you some fuzz characteristics. Huh. I think it was like a happy accident that he came upon when he made it, so... Oh. <laughs> Here, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's like overdoing the signal there. That's cool. I really like that, that actually. Really cool. I want to see what do you max out all? Of yeah, them? I'm about to max that. I was gonna say, let's max them. Let's hear what they sound like. All right, BB maxed out, same settings, which I'm liking a lot. You can do whatever you want, treble and bass. You can cut it, add more, whatever you want to do. And I'll, I'll show you what that sounds like in a second. Cut, but I like these settings. <laughs> I mean, to turn it on.
fuzzy. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Like, the range of gain when you have this one back is, like, so much. Feels like, you know, when, when I'm, what I'm saying is when you have this gain back on the data list, it's like, it's really oh, this, this thing doesn't have that much gain. This one is like, oh, there's way more gain at that setting. It's yep. just the, the range, the sweep yep. range. But all of a sudden, when I when it gets here, it's like, whoa, massive. It, That's I'm, cool. I'm starting to really hear the difference between the AT and the BB a bit more. It's mm -hmm. like, it's almost mm -hmm. like a, on my Mesa amp, there's a there's a bold switch. Uh -huh. It just kind of like, there's certain parts like of like the mid range and the highs that just kind of stick out a little more. It kind of yeah. sticks out yeah. the mix a little more, and that's that's what the AT sounds like. Yeah, that's it what it just, sounds like. It's just it's it's all personal. Yeah, what you like, you know. Uh, I was gonna show an example. One of the last things here. I'm gonna mess with the data list a little bit more, but um, like if you take your bass and trebles back, what it kind of does to your sound. I want to hear the difference. If this one's still brighter, even if we do it, so BB. So here it sounds all scoopy, but say you have like a like, super I, bright air. The opposite is scoopy. It sounds like all mid range to me. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, it's like a, you lost all yeah. its lows and highs. It's exactly it's a treble bass control. But uh, what I mean is, if you have like a super bright amp, that might work. Yeah. You, you know, it just depends on what you have. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, I still think that one comes out more. It still has this yeah. extra like mid-range to it. Present, maybe? Present. Yeah, I mean, that's... But yeah, yeah, that's a really cool uh, thing about these two. I just want to mess with the gain range on this one uh, before we finish it up here. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that's like dramatic. neck pickup. Zach back there keeps giving me this face like, <laughs> yeah. It is. It's like pumping me up. I like. I really like that a lot. Let's hear that one again. Uh, I didn't think I'd want more trouble when I was messing with it, but geez. But then you do and it's like, whoa. whoa yeah. That's nice. <laughs> it's super nice. I'm going to back it off and see what it does. That's a usable sound, but if you just mess with your EQ on your amp, because that was pretty bright. I'm also playing a telly. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, that no, has that, a lot to do with it. That tone is has a lot of usable. Super. I want to hear it with sounds. the fuzzy uh, fuzziness really quick before we're done. <laughs> Making picking winners or anything. I really love exotic products. I have like six of their pedals. I was thinking. I was thinking about it earlier. Um, 
that one's really cool. I like the Mythos a lot, Daedalus. And uh, all these are available at Alva's. Thanks for joining me this week. I had another video planned for today. That's why I kind of had to do this one. But we keep selling the pedals that I want to try out. We had the bonsai. We got it fixed. It sold. <laughs> I was here. I literally was here on Saturday, and it sold. Two. I got out of here a little early, and it sold in that two hours. So I showed up this morning, walked in all happy, do my video. Where the heck's the pedal? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what the heck's going on? Anyway, thanks for joining me this week. As I tell you about my life here. Uh, our next video might be a little bit different. I don't know yet. I don't know when we're going to release it. i, I got to stop giving away all the crazy <laughs> results. All secrets. Our little secrets. But I'll always keep these going. Please keep supporting, subscribing, commenting whether I like it or not. But I don't get mean and fight back on the internet. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to play that last thing I was just playing again because I love it so much. Anyway, join me next week. Thanks for uh, listening. Bye.